What's going on YouTube? My name is Simon Sniped and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the next upcoming Awaken unit for the global service, Awaken Li Suyon. We'll look at their kit in general and how she can be used in the PvE and PvP situation. And finally, a detailed look at her stats and skills. Now, if you'd like to jump straight to my verdict for the unit, feel free to jump to the end using the timestamp I'll be leaving in the description below. If you'd like to know more about the units or just in general have any questions about her, do feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Or you can join me on stream on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm GMT plus 8. I'll be on Twitch on Fridays and YouTube on the other days. If the video was any helpful, do hit the like button and sub to the channel for more videos like these. With that out of the way, sit back, relax, and let me tell you why Awaken Lee Suyon is the rulers of the sky. Awaken Lee Suyon is a 5 cost Ranger class counter unit who is built to rule the skies. Deploying her at the right moment and location will almost always turn the tides of the battle in your favor and thus making her an absolute queen of aerial combat. It's a given that she does very decent DPS, but her kit makes her do much much more than a single track damage dealer. To make it easier for us to look at the unit as a complete package, here's a quick summary of what she does. She deals damage with her ETB, which is also known as the Enter the Battle effect, to the whole map upon deployment. She deals an AoE special attack that CCs and clumps the enemies throughout its animation duration. She gives herself a barrier after a special skill, increasing her survivability by a large margin. She prioritizes aiming for any air units within her range. And finally, she provides a passive hit stun immunity and 30% skill haste to all non-awakened ranges on the field. That's a handful. In a practical situation, you want to time her deployment to take out priority targets like enemy air units or range units that gets too close. Now her only weakness is... Wait, wait. Is there a weakness? Well, the thing is, I wanted to say her HP was kind of low, but then comparing with other Awakened Rangers, it really isn't. But if you really want to pick a bone, then I'd say she puts herself at higher risk of dying when you deploy her close to the target of interest due to positioning, if we even consider that a weakness. In most PvE situations, she's a solid DPS to have if the content you're trying to clear allows mid-range rangers to be used. Now I say mid-range because even among the ranger units, there are some that actually has a longer firing range. Leaving the campaign mode aside, Awaken Lee Suyon is very commonly used in Guild Co-op Battle and T7 Accessory Relic stages in the future to come. She can also be used in Shadow Palace when it drops, but she's not a make or break type of unit if you get what I mean. There is no content so far even in the other regional servers that cannot be done without Awaken Lee Suyon. Instead, she brings more benefit as a support due to her passive than her DPS output in most PvE situations. Now moving on to where she really really shines, EVP. Just because I say she shines brighter here doesn't label her as the Oh, Awaken Lee Suyon is a PvP unit so I'm a skip. No. In weeks where Awaken Lee Suyon is not at least banned too, you can kinda kiss all sorts of air units goodbye unless the team comp is built around diminishing her skills. At the point where this video is released, the amount of air units we have access to on the global servers can barely be counted with two hands. However, the most recent Awaken Yuna may also suffer against Awaken Lee Suyon, and that's because Rayleigh if is killed, Yuna's effectiveness is literally halved. Ludmilla and Rosaria with her high DPS output will almost always dissipate soon after Awaken Lee Suyon enters the field due to their extremely low HP count. And imagine her passive providing hit stun immunity and skill haste 30% to all non-Awakened rangers, Tal and Gaian will be even more significant in any PvP match, provided they are not banned. From another perspective, Awaken Lee Suyon's ETB effect not only strikes fear in the hearts of all aerial units, but also all ground units who does not have a tanky amount of substance or HP. Because they will also be killed if you time it right with a ship skill or paired with another unit's AoE damage skill. In the mirror matchup, when you're expecting the opponent to also have Awaken Lee Suyon, there is a really small window of opportunity to give your own Awaken Lee Suyon a winning edge. Before the enemy Awaken Lee Suyon, that's how many times have, how many times have I said awaken this way? Before the enemy casts a special skill upon deployment, you want to deploy yours so that the enemy takes the full brunt of your ETB damage before the shield is applied. In cases like these, the first Lee Suyon to be deployed usually loses, so do keep this in mind. 
Now let's talk a little bit about the more technical side of Awakenly Suyon. Now Awakenly Suyon is by default a Ranger class unit which doesn't have the highest amount of hit. However, she stands slightly above average compared to her peers. Her base attack is among the highest of the Rangers and her HP is also near the top end of the Ranger class too. So in general, she's a freaking 5 cost Ranger with more base stats and a shit ton of beneficial effects in her skill kit. What's not to love? Moving on to her skill kit, her basic attack is able to hit both land and air with a slight twist added to it. It is able to land two valid hits to enemies away from melee range, and if any enemies are within her melee range, she'll swing her sword inflicting additional damage equivalent to 20% of her current HP, pushing the enemy back and reducing their healing received by 100% for 20 seconds. Just her basic attack does so much. Her passive skill, Ace Fighter's Qualification, is an ETB effect which damages all enemies on the field by 33% of their current HP, and grants all non-awakened rangers on the field hit stun immunity to special or lower skills, plus 30% skill haste. The higher the level it is on this passive, the more anti-air damage and damage resistance she gets versus air units, which you can see reflected here in the stats. Her special skill, Release Arsenal Wings, is a very straightforward skill. She damages and displaces the enemy's hit and gain a barrier after the skill animation finishes. While the barrier is active, she also has an additional 30% damage resistance. As for her ultimate, Strike Code Lee Suyon, fires a gigantic laser towards the front and hitting all enemies for a high amount of damage. After the skill animation finishes, she gains hit stun immunity from her... After the skill animation finishes, she gains hit stun immunity from special and lower skills and gets a 15% attack buff if the level is maxed. Now, I guess this is the one of the more important part of this particular video. So there are a lot of ways you can actually choose to gear Awaken Lee Suyon. In most cases, you would want to fit her with more of what I call the direct damage substats. These include the likes of anti-defender or any other roll damage, anti-ground damage or anti-air damage, depending on who you're trying to target specifically. The other substats, well, you want to also have is skill haste. Having more of this will never go wrong. For PvE, most of the time you want skill haste on one substat line and a single direct damage substat on the other. During the early game, when you do not have access to a lot of T6 gears, you can prioritize getting the stats you want through set bonuses. But if you are in the mid to late games, set bonuses loses their shine a little bit and having the right substats on gears will definitely yield you better results. So how you want to build your Awakenly Suyon? I'll leave it to your creativity. However, if you really just want a general idea or reference, then these are a few sets that you can consider. And that's all I have to share about Awakenly Suyon. So now comes the most important part where I rate this unit. For Awakenly Suyon, I would give her a solid 8 out of 10. Now, I would have bumped her score up to 9 if she was more significant in more PvE content, but don't let that put her down. In PvP, she's able to completely shut down certain comps and is always a great card to drop to win games. Now, I hope this video was able to give you a clearer picture of what she is so you can decide on whether how far you'd like to go to get her. I'd say don't skip if you can because she's really just very, very unique and nobody can replace her for what she does. Do take note that she isn't a game breaker where there are certain content you cannot clear without so. Even if you fail to get her, it's not the end of the world. Now that's all I have to say. Well, until the next video, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.